Hello everybody, this is Rami again with MaxStar Computers. Please visit GoMaxStar.com. We do have no credit needed purchasing options, 90 days or three months same as cash. Now, let, in this video, we're gonna talk about the difference between solid state drives, also known as SSDs, and regular mechanical hard drives, which is HDD stands for hard disk drive. So this is the older versions of the HDDs. As you can see here, I have a 2.5, which goes into laptops, and I have a 3.5, which goes into desktops or some iMacs. Now, how these work, I'll show you on this one, is it has this disc that spins around, maybe some of them at 5,400 RPM and others at 7,200 RPM. Those are the high performance ones. And this needle here scans back and forth as it spins to pick up the data. Now, spinning that fast, you could only imagine that takes a lot of energy, creates a lot of heat within the computer, and is considered slow nowadays. So this is how they look like. This is a regular hard drive. Now let's talk about SSDs. Now these are two types of SSDs. These are the 2.5 hard drives that are SATA and SATA just means that there's a SATA connection here and then there's the PCIe M.2 SSDs these SSDs can go anywhere 20 to 60 times faster than the regular HDDs that's why we highly recommend upgrading to an SSD all the latest laptops they no longer use HDDs they're all SSDs now if you're ever wondering what's the difference between a regular solid state and a flash base solid state, this is a flash base and we also call it chipset. Now it's called PCIe because of the connection here. This is how you connect it into the laptop. So your laptop has to have a PCIe access. Now with Apple, some of them are proprietary, meaning these chips are a little bit different. So you have to make sure you get the right uh, PCIe insert when you purchase a SSD M.2 aka chipset SSD and once again these are just SATA so this is how they look like now the inside of this one is similar there's no spinning disc in there uh, creates less heat better for your computer more durable same as this one and also they protect your data a little bit better and of course they're a lot faster so let's go ahead and check their performance on the computer and see if they're really that fast okay so we got the m.2 ssd here on this macbook pro and we have the regular hard drive uh, on this macbook pro now one of the hardest things your cpu does is just booting up so this is called the boot up test i'm gonna go ahead and press the power button on both of them at the same time Let's see how fast they really are. So both of them are booting up now. And you can see how the SSD just zooms by. Bam, we're in. I probably could even restart this and it'll start before the other one, let's see. Now this hard drive is spinning inside like we showed you earlier and that needle is trying to pick up everything to boot the system. And there it goes. So you could see how much faster these are. Now this one's pretty fast, but this one's about, I wanna say, 10 times faster than this one. So that just gives you an idea. Now another test I wanna do, and this one actually has, a 320 gigabyte. Okay, 
So this one's called opening random applications and see how well it could take it. So let's go ahead and just open the mail, the contacts, calendar, and so forth. And I'm gonna stop right there so this computer doesn't blow up. But as you can see, it takes a while for them to load. The computer is trying to process it. The CPU is trying to get that information from the hard drive. We have one application that just opened. Now let's try on the SSD and see how fast they could pick up that information from the storage and the CPU processes it. So I'll go ahead and open Safari and it's almost instant if you could see that. So there you could see how fast the SSD is. 